I'm Austin. We are here to play games. Badly. Ass yes, indeed. Welcome back to Lies of P. Uh, we are going <laughs> to jump right in. Uh, last time, uh, we <laughs> ended up on a rather crazy scene as we ended up in the weird crystal hell that used to be the central station. Yeah. Oh, right. Now I remember what we were going to do. We were going to take care of the stuff we got from the rusty crypt cryptic vessel. Yes. The um, last little bit of housekeeping before we take on the boss of this area that we've been exploring for two episodes now. Right. Uh, so I have gotten the pandemonium, which is the final arm. It's kind of interesting. You just pick it. That yeah. was like dot damage. Okay. Yeah, it's acid. Acid damage. Okay. Yeah. Um, and we have a decent amount of... Calibers? Yes. Yes, exactly. Uh, we gotcha. can modify. So, let's see. Yeah, we have puppet string leveled up a decent amount. We could max that up. I would be okay with that. That does look really cool. Yeah. So, let's, let's do that. Let's get attack okay. link. Uh, we'll mess with other things. Honestly, the Puppet String and the Aegis are my favorites. Um, I, I would really like Falcon Eyes more if it didn't have that weird issue where, like, stuff didn't explode on targets for no apparent reason. So Yeah, some strange invisible walls happening between layers. Yeah. Uh, Let me switch my arm. Switch. Okay. No, I don't think so. So yeah, that, that one's cool, <laughs> but the puppet string is extremely useful, so I'm going to stick with it. Yeah. And yeah, let's go get that taken care of. Uh, right. Okay. So just to confirm, we did decipher the cryptic vessel, right? Yeah. Pretty sure we did. Okay. So, oh yeah, we did. So it talks mm -hmm. about a, like a gated area. So we need to go back to the Baron Swamp Bridge and we're going to talk to Hugo twice. Also... If this is your first time here for any of our videos, or first time to Prolize P, either way, welcome. We like to have a good time. Last last episode we talked about like house for a while. I mean, so our conversation topics <laughs> kind of span the spectrum they sure between do. the lore of the game to whatever just kind of floats our boat. So if that is the kind of vibe you're going for, something relaxed, something silly, welcome aboard. If you want to see this episode, or not this episode specifically, this gameplay from the first episode, so that you know what's going on in the story. If you want to see this out, episode from the first gameplay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Check uh -huh. out the top right corner. <laughs> There's a card for a link to the full playlist. You can start at episode one. Otherwise, welcome as always. We're glad to have you here. Um, yeah, Hugo is back the other way. Yep. I'm good at remembering where to go. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, he's over here. Okay. Yeah, you more than make up for your lack of navigational skills with our Salt and Sanctuary playthrough. <laughs> yeah. If I've All beaten right. the game 115 times, I, I know where stuff is. Do we need to talk to him? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, you're here. See, I told you I'd do it. Yeah. No trace of Aladoro inside, though. And the Hermit's Cave itself is too deep for me. My next stop is the relic of Trismegistus, one of Aladoro's favorite treasure hunting That's grounds. a mouthful. I'm Trismegistus. curious why he'd go back there time after time. Oh, maybe I'm getting the hang of this sort of work. See you later, treasure hunter. <laughs> Talk to me. I'm trying to track down Mr. Aladoro. We can catch up later. Yeah, I just want to make sure we exhaust his dialogue. Yeah, I think we did. Okay. Uh, hold on. I'm trying to track. All right. We're yep. Good. Yep. All right. So in here, we're going to pick up. Invincible boxes. Sorry. Yep. I'm going to pick up some quads. Quads. Yep. Continue the tunnel and down the scaffolding. There's a chest down there somewhere. Wow. So there's a bunch of stuff over there, it looks like. Yeah. That's um that's a whole area to explore in here. Let's go down here. That was weird. Uh do 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 Whoa! 
That was scary. Ooh. Hey, buddy. Alrighty. We are back after a bit of a technical issue, if you're hearing this, of course. Yeah. <laughs> that was exciting. Yeah. Oh! Oh! That's a trap, by the way. Oh! You ignored it the first time. I don't sure how you... <laughs> don't judge me. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's the gameplay we all know and love. Silence! <laughs> Man, I gotta... <laughs> oh no, you have to repair your blade that you can do for absolutely free anytime you want. Oh no, it's so bad. Man, Snark is real right now. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Alright. Now I need, I've learned this time. not to try to do that. Yeah, right. Let's see if I can eat. The game really didn't like the idea of you. Oh, that is yeah. so good. Yeah, I really like that. So this episode in Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. Not really. Liza P edition? Yeah. Uh, Liza P. Puppets die twice. <laughs> Perfect. Grab this. Yeah. So we are exploring the scaffold as a reminder. We're looking for a chest. It'll have some quartz in it. I like quartz. Before this game so rudely interrupted us. Oh, get that crystal before it's a problem. But shall. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, smart. That worked out. Ooh. Well, all right then. He just didn't care. No, she doesn't care about your your tomfoolery. Apparently not. Your shenanigans. Especially you can't like kick her off the edge. Yeah, that would be useful. I need a kick button. There we go. That does a lot of damage. Yeah, it does. I really quite like. I think we might stick with the puppet string unless there's a reason to change it. Mm, got no strings to hold me down. Exactly. I had strings, but now you see there are no strings on me. Probably shouldn't go that way. I can't go that way. <laughs> You um, can. It will just be your ultimate and immediate death. You're right. I am radically free to go that way if I want to. <laughs> yes. You can, in fact, make that choice. You will hate yourself for making that choice, but you could do it. Maybe. Or I'll just do it out of sheer defiance of you telling me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> what? I said you probably shouldn't. I didn't say you could. Sounds a lot like telling me what to do with extra steps. I know. <laughs> extra steps? Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's report notes notebook. Hmm. That looks weird. Like, the title looks weird. Just Someone's like, yeah, okay. report notes notebook. Right. It was just... It is strange. I, that's a uh, weird name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, this place is contaminated, too. There isn't much extra water left. The kind hermit helped me, but he knows he's not going to last much longer either. Terrible mutations from the side effects of the petrification disease neutralizes neutralization process. Many people of Krat will turn into carcasses, the alchemist's monsters. Hmm. My friends are the only thing that comes to mind in my final moments. Lumachio is ill. Sophia is missing. Oh, hey, hey I know where she is. Mm hmm. Lorenzini lost hope. H is dead. And here I am, Medoro. Who's H? Good question. I don't know. We risked our lives and fought from each post, but sometimes there are no rewards. Still, some things are left. Something even power and lies can't hide. The truth. Someone will unearth the truth. Someone will unveil the lie. Taking the extra step forward for the people coming behind. I believe that was my role. I am Adoro, the reporter. My weapon was my pen in the truth. Now I leave my records for you who visit this place. From Adoro. Okay, then. <sighs> okay, so it was Sophia Lorenzini. H. Who was the... 
Yeah, H is dead, but there was the first one who was ill. Uh. Not gonna be able to tell you that without looking in. Hold on. Yeah. I don't know why that name just exited. It's the bloody one right there, I think. Nope. Nope. Okay, well, it's the other one that looks exactly like it. Yep. <laughs> Uh, Lumachio. Lumachio. Do Ma we know Geppetto's last name? Macho Man. Brandon. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if we know Geppetto's. Is Geppetto his last name? I don't know. That's the thing. So, I'm, I'm curious if those are all related. Because, like, Lorenzini is obviously Vanini, right? Seems like it, yeah. Um, oh, Lamaccio might be Geppetto's first name, and Geppetto could be his... Who knows? That could um, be, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know where he ties in. Maybe we'll meet a Lamaccio later. Or maybe we've already met one. Yeah, perhaps. Um, hmm. Wow, this place is... It's much more complex kind of than big. I thought it was going to be. Yeah, this is a big... Okay, it's the other side of that trap. We don't have any need to trigger. Mm -hmm. H is dead. Sophia is missing. Sophia is in Hotel Krat, and so is Lorenzini at this point. Oh. Oh. Okay. Eating some input there. No, I think I timed it very slightly wrong a few times. Mm, okay. Oof. Oof. Brutal. Not playing overly well. Here we go. Well, in your defense, technical issues would throw anybody, like, off kilter for a minute. Indeed. There we go. We'll get it. We'll get into the groove. Don't you worry, viewers. <laughs> Give me that. Quartz. Quartz. Okay, so that's what we needed from here. Uh, but continue on to the next Stargazer. Okay. Alright then. Where there'll be more stuff to pick up. Oh boy, looks like oh boy, oh boy. Looks like we're on our way to another weapon, perhaps. Another weapon? Perhaps. Want whatever that is. But it won't be until we reach the Hermit's Cave Stargazer, which is the next one. Hermit's Cave? Is this a side path? I think this is an entire side, like, dungeon area, yeah. Okay. I did not know. I thought we were just going to grab a quartz from a chest. Yeah, we're just... Well, so did I, but I didn't read far ahead, because I just kind of take it as we're going. Oh. I, I don't do severe prep. I probably should. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. I think by now our viewers probably understand that we are confused most of the time. <laughs> I mean, what's a game without floundering around for a while? Electric Blitz. Oh, there's your Stargazer, actually. Nah. Speaking of which... Give me that. All right. So, allegedly, near this stargazer, you will find a mean carcass guarding a chest. A mean carcass? Yep. Oh, there it is, right they, there. They look mean. Well, yeah, but what about the one behind the wall to your left there? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I thought you meant the one that was just, like, pacing. I apologize. No. <laughs> oh, right. I completely forgot to mention. So, I don't, I don't know if we covered this, but I do have... The two dragon sword at plus five now. That's a maxed out weapon. Mm, nice, because you use the full moon dark mm -hmm. moonstone or whatever, right? Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah, full moon moonstone of the covenant. That's what it is. Don't know why I kept thinking dark moonstone. Because Gwendolyn is. Mm, uh, yeah, maybe. Mm. Let's do it. That was relatively effective. Eh. Eh. Nice. Good job. Eh. <laughs> Have I made you mad yet? No. Yeah, right. Guess not. I. <sighs> 
You know, I can't ever hear the word Moonstone and not immediately think of Skies of Arcadia. Moonstone, cannon, fire! Pretty much. Like, a Moonstone is an actual gem that you can get, like, in your jewelry. As is well. It? Really? Yeah, it, it's a it's a bit of a fragile gem. Um, yes. But... But it's very pretty. It's, it's kind of... Ooh. A little translucent. Mm -hmm. uh, depending on the like your your cut and quality, obviously. But like, it's there's some elements to it where like if if it's in the right lighting, it looks like it practically glows. It's a really cool gym. Um, Sounds cool. Yeah. Of course, I only know this because my wife and I have been looking for um, some replacement rings because. Uh, just over the years, mm. ours have gotten damaged or misplaced or whatever, and so we wanted to get a matching like a set that we could go with. This looks and there was, good. Yeah, that's it. Black steel cutter, and there were some that had moonstones in them that we were looking at. So mm. that is cool. Think, yeah, that's that. Uh, if you're looking for it, it's the one with the red blade there. Yeah. Okay. So. That's crazy. That looking. is a really cool looking weapon. Perpetually, like it's just come out of a smith's furnace. Yeah. Let's see. Storm slash. Okay. Guard parry. Yeah. It very. It's it's an advanced weapon, so it does fire damage. That's pretty sweet. Not as sweet as your scythe of deadly deadliness. Scythe of scythiness, yes. Yep. Uh, Alright. What else we got? So, the, we're going to continue down the scaffolding until we reach a narrow tunnel. Hmm. That timing is real tricky on that. <laughs> there are a lot of monsters falling out of the freaking ceiling on this area. There really are, yeah. Huh. Mm. What you gonna do? That works. E. Yeah. I don't feel like using another consumable moment. Uh, actually, uh, nope. You might wanna, you wanna leap across? Yeah, hang on. <laughs> All right, that works. Don't mind me just <laughs> remembering how to jump. <laughs> Try to remember the jump button. I have problems with jumping, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> we were kindly reminded today, um, looking at Xenogear comments, that there was quite a bit of the game where Dan forgot he had a jump button. It's really embarrassing, considering how many times I've played the stupid game and forgot you could jump in it. What the heck? Uh, well, I mean, in your defense, a dedicated jump button in a traditional JRPG-style game is not common, especially in that era. That's true. I've seen the revelation of the loop butterfly. They have asked me to free them from this prison of time. Hmm. Wait, was there one before that? I thought I saw something. Yeah, there was. Hmm. The water is strange. I'm not sure when it started, but my tears and blood have also turned blue. That's a problem. I think that's the evidence of the ergo. Oh, there might be evidence of petrification disease, too, actually. Could be. We might be learning some more about the past the here. The fairy is far. The fairy is crying. The hands on the clock have gone round and round to find the boy's future. Okay. I swear to Hatch it to where that stays on the screen for, like, one second longer, please. Uh, these guys are such a pain in the butt. I hate these things. Nice. Ding. Ooh. Ow. There it is. <sighs> he hit me in the face. <laughs> Dad, he hit me. Ma'am, he's touching me. Ma'am. Ma'am. 
Uh, but yeah, once you get through the mutating carcass there, we'll be able to get another item. I don't know. I'll make him pay. I don't know if it's a weapon or just like a quest item. Really? Yeah, it's not clear. Okay. By the name, by the name and structure, it's not clear what it is. No. That's really unfortunate. But you know, you had minimal falls in our last Sultan Sanctuary uh, recording. We had to make up for it somewhere, I guess. No, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, that was stupid. All right, uh, <laughs> let's, let's just. Oh, come on now. All right, all right. Let's pick this up. I got some of it back, I guess. So, yeah. Quit it. I mean, it's a good thing you don't lose, like, all of it no. if you die a second time. Just gotta come back. So of course he does. It's a little more forgiving. You could probably just book it, honestly. You could probably what? Just book it past him if you really wanted to. I doubt he's... I mean, he might chase you over the narrowness here, but... Oh, he sure will. All right. Oh. Huh. Hmm. Oh. Uh oh. All right. Well, I gave you bad advice. I apologize. <laughs> Dan, you should have better than to listen to me. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was amazing. All right. So let's. <laughs> what's more with feeling and less stupidity here, and uh, we'll, we're gonna we're gonna be intentional. Take our time here. Oh, that was but funny. that's boring. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Th I don't know if I could ever be a speedrunner. I, I don't think I have that that <laughs> type of skill. I mean, me either, man. <laughs> I'm as casual as they come. Yeah, I'm a total pleb. I'm fine if you give me some time to do the things. Oh, Ow. thanks for breaking that for me, man. I'm gonna break you in a minute. Ooh, jeez. He's mad. Sure is. Oof. That was stupid. Oh, yeah, I feel like if you're doing a move like that, you should be interrupted. Not only... I guess if it made every any move inter uninterruptible, it would become a broken aspect, but... saying is you should be allowed to have a red move too. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, Alright, so... <laughs> anyway. Anyways. Here's the earth. Oh, that's why that happened. Fell down from the freaking ceiling. Yeah. It's fine. Okay, so we gotta take care of the mutator carcass. But I am curious about the story that's being told here. <laughs> what the? Now that disruption aura is rough. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. I'm curious who the hermit is. Oh, maybe that's who H is, the hermit. The hermit? I can see it. Yeah. That would make sense, because it was Medora who was making me. You've gotta oh, be joking. Come on. Listen, I was kidding about the falling thing. I'm sorry you if are I not. jinxed us. You have jinxed it. <laughs> now I'm going to fall no! every five minutes. Oh no. <laughs> Dan's going to reach through his computer and strangle me. I'm what sorry. have you done? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a monster. <laughs> All right. He just really wanted to fight the big dude again, right? Those, the mean carcass? Those were all practice rounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I definitely want to fight this guy again. Isn't he the best? Around. 
No one's gonna ever keep you down. Ooh. Man, <laughs> that's some clutch blocking right there, bud. Um, yeah, I'm uh, not gonna lie, I'm a little mad right now, so uh, I, I'm kind of <laughs> focused. <laughs> I, I can feel it. Um, uh. If we need to listen, if we need to, we can just cut until you get to the next. No, 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 we're good, we're good. It's all in the journey, man. <laughs> it's all in the journey, not the destination. Journey before destination. This is a freaking Souls game. I mean, if I'm not dying 185 times, what am I doing? I mean... Souls-like, whatever. Yeah, to be fair... There haven't been a whole lot of spaces where you've had to really struggle. No, that's true. Yeah. Um, These crystals, though, are... Uh, yeah, I mean, not for lack of difficulty, just... Yeah. Like, there's just been... Not not so many places that it's just been super deadly for you. I think your biggest weakness in this game so far has literally been heights. Yeah, well, that's pretty normal for a Souls game, too. Gravity <laughs> is, like, your biggest enemy most of the time. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, my one weakness. Exactly. Gravity. Something I've been dealing with my whole life. Yep. Guys, I hear that flying is easy once you learn how to dodge the ground. I've... Oh. <laughs> I do not like how that narrows on the right side there. Oh, boy. Hey, anybody watching this wants to play this, learn from my mistakes and don't fall off 75 yeah, this times. Is, <laughs> this is a walkthrough where you learn where all the traps are. Yeah, there you by go. By mistake. Uh... <laughs> We're just showing you what not to do, so that, you know... <laughs> this really is uh, how it just tends to go in these games, though. Like, you die yeah. a bunch of times going through an area. And sometimes it's because you're, like, getting impatient because you've died a bunch. Right. Making it, making it worse. Oh, really? Man, you really learned... Ooh, that was nice. I you got really good at that precise, like, um, block. Yeah. Oh, I almost got not, it. Not necessarily the fancy flourish. That one looks like it's still a work, but... In general. See, I had... I gotta stop saying stuff. Apparently it's distracting. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. Uh, so the problem with the big jump is it's got that anticipation on it. Right. Because he's up in the air for a second, and so that is always difficult to time, because sure. it's, it's the same as, you know, you fight, you're used to playing Souls games, you fight Margaret the Fell in Elden Ring, and he holds his weapon up for 117 minutes until you press the roll button so he can pancake you. You're like, ah, <laughs> Icy. Icy's? I would love an Icy. Mmm. Or a slushy. Yeah. Honestly, slushy would be better than an icy, hands down. Why is that? Um, slushies, texture. I think are well. No, no. I think slushies are a little bit more liquid consistency, but still have that nice, real cold. Do not fall off again. My God. Oh, that was close. Um. Okay, so frosties are just kind of like a a, a a shy of a shave ice, right? Like, you, you drink them. Frosties are? But, uh, no, um, sorry. Icies. Icies, yeah, okay. Icies are just shy of, like, shave ice. Yeah, yeah. They're, like, the liquid form of that. Slushies have that same sensation as, like, a soda that's been in the freezer just long enough to have some of the icy structure in it without losing any of its consistency or flavor. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. It's like my favorite type of soda if I can pull it off. And I think, um, I think slushies kind of have that same general vibe. You know, one thing you could do is get, uh, frosted glasses, um, like a beer, um, what are those called? 
The like, oh, like, the, like Stein, like the frozen Steins or whatever. Yeah, they're not. There's some word for them, um, but they're like the thick glass, you know, and they they can get all fogged up. But if you yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm trying to think of the word for it. And uh, he killed me again. Okay. Well, here I I, I got hate this I got guy. space to do this. Um. Yeah. So what is it? What is it? What is it? They sell them, right? They're like metal ones of these. Stein is probably close, but with Stein, I think of like a metal glass for the handle, a metal a metal drink container, not necessarily made of glass, but uh, and it's got the the like cap on the top that you can press down to like open it. Well, yeah. So you you are you thinking like a tumbler? It's sort of, sort of. It's a okay. it's a fogged sort of mug glass. Yeah, so what I'm seeing here is there's like a glacier double walled chilling beer glass you can you get. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something like that. Um the ones I grew up with actually look like the kinda of like the beer steins. They have like the handle. Right. You know? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I mean yeah. They're not always um earmarked specifically for beer, right? But if you get something right. like that, put them in the freezer to where they're really cold, and then you pour a soda in it, it will, there will be like iced up version, like I iced up bits of the soda on the top, and uh, it'll get really, 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 really cold. Yeah. It's pretty excellent. Yes. Uh, I, yeah, I remember growing up, my mom and dad, we had like three or four of them that we would do just that with them. Right. You know? Um, oh, right. But I don't know, it's not, I don't know, it's not quite the same as like having like a 24 ounce bottle that you put in the freezer for like 45 minutes. Like a plastic bottle? Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Because, you know, it usually takes about an hour or more for soda to really freeze. That's true. So if you get it, if you if you can time it just right, you get the real slushy texture so it's like super cold. It's real nice. Um, that is a little yeah, different, yeah. But uh, the plastic freezer beer mugs is all I can see here is being the closest thing that we're talking about. Yeah, they're glass, though. Yeah. Yeah, freezer beer mugs is still the one I'm seeing. I'll find. Apparently, I'll figure the word out for it in a little bit. Apparently, uh, Lowe's carries these. What? Set of four. <laughs> That's interesting. It, it is. I don't know why, why would it they? came up with Lowe's of all things, but it's like the top thing listed. Oh, for your it's beer like needs, of, Lowe's. It has like, Home Improvement yeah. Warehouse. What? <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. A set of four for like 30 bucks. That was stupid. Huh. Is that compared to? Yeah, this is gonna be better. Come on! He dinged. Stupid shield. Mm, that wind up seems like it's hard to read. That blocking is making me furious! <laughs> 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 See, we just gotta get you talking about something that you can like focus on, and then you'll get into a zen state and you'll wreck his, wreck his face. These types of enemies have always been a pain for me. Yeah, but they're rough. This, oh, these ones in particular with their mutations really make it difficult because each mutation has its own speed and pace. Like the windup for that shield bash is so so fast. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Glad I used that ability so he could charge through it and smash me into the ground again. Yeah. Would your um, <sighs> great sword do any better? I tried it. It it doesn't okay. do a huge amount more damage. It might do more stagger damage, so I'll stick with it this time. Well, I didn't know if, if maybe, like, just pace of swing and block and everything else might help. Maybe, but if I can stagger him, that's going to help a lot more. That's true. That's fair. 
All right, so. Serious rough. No kidding. Uh, oh, that's not good. Hold on. Come over here. My brain is drawing a huge blank. I apologize. <laughs> I was sitting here trying to think of things to talk about. No, don't worry so about that it. You, well, yeah, no, I mean, I know we can talk about the game too. So let's let's do that. Let me let me hone in here for a second. All right. So there's gonna be a. Drop. What do you think the writings on the wall are about? Uh, well, one of the questions I had was, what is the blue? Have we seen blue? Like blue blood? I mean, you see what's coming out of the carcasses, right? Right. Yeah. So that's it's blue greenish, you know. So one, um, one of the problems is how does the petrification disease relate to the carcasses, relate to other things? Right. So the pet. So from the last thing we picked up concerning the petrification disease mm -hmm. specifically. Was that it was associated with the alchemists? It was called the alchemists' monster, right? Yeah. So, and Simon uh, mentioned that he basically got his hands in the petrification disease issue, mm -hmm. which created the which created the carcasses, the monsters, um, as he's trying to perfect humanity essentially to push it to the next evolutionary state. Right. Um, and so I think... He did not have his shield up. That was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That is rough. Again, not to harp on it too much, but every single move charges 115 feet behind me and hits multiple times, and I just... I wish that type of attack had never been put in this kind of game. Right. I understand the challenge, but it is just infuriating to be, like, pasted against the wall. Yeah, it, it, it almost feels a little less like skill when it starts happening that way. Yeah, well, I mean, it, it's positioning, right? Like, it very much is a valid thing. Oh. I mean, look at that. Like, it doesn't matter if I'm there, unless I can double block it. It's just obnoxious. Jesus. Okay, good. There we go. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Yep. Oh, come on. Oh, what? I call hacks. Oof. Ooh. Jesus. This is rough. Alright. Die! Freaking jerk. There we go. Ooh. What do we have here? I'm sorry, what? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Huh? Who are you, sir? <laughs> he was speaking. Yeah. You drop this. What the heck? Okay. To protect the people you love, sometimes you must take steps through uncertain times and stand up again. Even in this era when you can't see ahead of you, a piano rings with emotion. Misty Era to accompany the foggy mornings of Krat. Fascinating. All right. Well, I do think uh, okay. the big sword was good for dealing with him, so yeah. I'm going to swap it back to the scythe. Yeah, I don't know if it just has, like, a slightly better, like, block uh, stability or what, but... What is the... Mm, damage reduction rating while guarding. It, does, it is better. Yeah. Uh... I don't know. I, I don't know either. Let's uh, 
I leave the butterflies writing here. Remember, you are human. Now it's time to get out of the string. String? String? Oh. String. Yep. Rip the door off. Key? No. Ooh. Black cat's hunting apparel. The cat we've been running into? I guess. <laughs> That's kind of cool. It is an extra set stolen by the robbers who were drawn to its quality. As a cat who had lived alone in the slums, he trusted no one but himself. However, his mind changed completely when he met the fox. I'll rock this for a bit. Okay, so now I'm curious. Was that mutated carcass what's left of the black cat? That's a very good question. I don't know. Because we haven't seen them. And Fox mentioned that black cat was ill yeah because they asked for golden fruit right uh yeah which we gave them right oh maybe that's who that was that's really sad if that's the case it is um are we at the end of this area by the way it seems like it yes okay Wow, I all right. Yep. Um What's funny is because this is like a soul's leg, um Fox is probably gonna die too. Yeah, for sure. That's what I expect. <laughs> Alright. No, no. Alright. Alright, I had to get revenge there. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we took care of the Walker of Illusions last episode, and that would have been the next thing to do. So <laughs> that fight was intense. Yeah, that was rough. Um, it was a good fight. So the next thing, or rather something to be of note as we're making our way back here, is that, which you have a watch, by the way. You don't have to walk all the way. Um, <laughs> 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 I always forget that, because normally you have to give up all your... Souls, runes, whatever. Well, yeah, you have uh, that version too, but the watch is basically your. Yeah, um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna go anyway. get coins real quick because it's almost full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Um, the just the next place or something of note, rather, it's up mm -hmm. to you. Is that um, we're going to lose access to fast travel temporarily pretty soon here? Uh oh. So if you want to stock up on any throwables or consumables, now's the time to do it from the Malum District. You know where that merchant's like right in the room next to the Stargazer. All right. So if you feel you need to stock up on anything, now will be the time to do it before we continue on. I don't feel that way, uh, but I tend to not use a lot of throwables. Although I have right. more in this game, honestly. So yeah, um, the thing I would like to do is use some of these quartz because I'm pretty sure I have several. Yeah, I think so too. So that'd be a good time to do that. Um, and to return to my thought process concerning uh, petrification disease and mm -hmm. the carcasses specifically. Yeah. So um, it's all been confirmed, all but confirmed like explicitly that the alchemists have created the monsters out of people who are sick with the petrification disease. Right. Now, whether they are doing that because they are trying to find a legitimate cure for it, or if they're just toying with genetics because they can, I don't know. Hmm. Um, that be But we we came across several pieces of, like, information along the journey that we've made so far mm -hmm. where there's been a discussion about the cure for the petrification disease. And they're implied to be two different cures. That's true. One one was, at least the way it was presented, was perhaps given by a charlatan. Mm -hmm. And the other by somebody who was trusted. Or something like, like, like the alchemist had a cure and then there was somebody else po posing as the alchemist or something of that nature. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I misread it or misremembered it, but that's kind of how I interpreted it at the time. Okay. So what I'm thinking is that perhaps 
perhaps one of two things are happening. One, there is no actual cure for the petrification disease. And that the gold fruit Whoa. is used in creating. Sorry, also, second legion arm slot. What? More than one legion arm equipable? Yeah, that's crazy looking. Oh, that would be so handy though, because you like ages too. Yeah, I could equip both. I'm thinking I'm gonna do that. Increase cube uses to okay. Yeah, let's get this one going. We're yeah. not gonna be able to get it right away, but That's cool. Anyway, you were saying. Yeah, um, so I I think one of two things is the reality here. I think either and probably more likely given the tone of this game, mm -hmm. is that the gold fruit tree doesn't actually contribute to the cure of the petrification disease, mm. but in fact is being used in the chemical concoction that they're using to create the carcasses and the monsters as they're trying to peak evolution through the disease to create humans in their purest form, right? Mm. Yep. Um, and so the the dregs of that is what we're fighting the dregs that's a good word um we're fighting the failed experiments basically the living or failures the, would you say yeah <laughs> yeah the results i mean like i mean and there's a ton of them right but like Ooh. how many people were were given bottles of cure just mm. to see what would happen you know we don't we don't really know and then we've got these elevated forms of these monsters too Mm -hmm. And things like Archbishop Andreas and uh, the champion that we fought that Simon like summoned, right? Um, the the wrestler, you know, I can't remember his name, but the guy who like oh yeah, that guy, <laughs> the, the guy who was like Bane, Liza P variant. Um, <laughs> yeah, yep. So like, and and he was probably the most or the closest to true goal att uh, attainment that they've, they've had, if I had to guess, or so far, that we've seen. They did seem to be praising that particular creation. All right, I'm right. Sure then. two minutes, whatever. Um, so yeah, I would suspect you're right about that. Right, and the other problem is in the process of all of this, listeners, as we've learned, mm -hmm. are the source of the golden fruit bearing trees. That's true. And it seems to me, and again, this might be my misunderstanding of how it's, it's said. Maybe it's not implied. Maybe it is explicit. And I just like went over my head. <laughs> but it seems to me that a life of a listener is used in exchange for creating the tree. That's what it sounded like to me, too. And it sounded like alchemists were forcing listeners to do this. Right. Um, and which leaves Sophia being like the last of the listeners because all the other ones have been basically converted into gold. Mm hmm. Um, which has huge implications about the gold bearing fruit tree uh, that we're consistently collecting from. Yeah. As well. Well, it's very, yeah, and it's an alchemical type of concept as well, which is always interesting. Right. So, I I don't know. I, <sighs> Where was I going, by the way? Back to the... Yeah. Oh, if you wanted to get... If, yeah, if you wanted to get more... Um, Did we see this last time? These are... Uh, I don't. I don't think you noticed it. I noticed it when you were looking for places, but I forgot to mention something. So yeah, okay. everything in episode or chapter one is no longer accessible because mm -hmm. here in chapter nine we're going through the same area, but it's completely changed due to the earthquakes and everything else. Yeah. Right? So. Yep. So believe it or not, this is the same area mm -hmm. that we were in in chapter one. Uh, so yeah, if you're if you're ready to continue on and you don't need to get any more consumables or anything like that, you can go back to the collapsed street. Yeah. All right. Or or if you have the central station street, I guess that would have been the next uh, stargazer. Oh, I guess I don't have that one. Okay. Yeah, because it's right after the Walker of Illusions. You would have there was a lift that goes up to the next stargazer. Oh yeah, we purposely didn't take that lift. 
Yeah, okay. So we just gotta get to where the Walker of Illusions was. No problem. Go up the lift and get the next Stargazer. It'll be on track. I wonder if that creepy music is gonna be playing. Maybe. So, what I I don't fully comprehend as far as like what's Ow. the the narrative being presented here mm -hmm. is, and so uh, as I interrupt myself, these canisters that we're passing. Yep. I think these are like cures being cooked. Okay. I think I've mentioned this before, but I because it's the same color as the blood of the carcasses. So I think this is the chemical, like, creation that the alchemists are working on. God, that music. I know. That fight was so unnerving. Yeah, it was. <laughs> okay, yep. Let's, uh... Do we have any Trinity doors we have to go back to? There is one Trinity door that we discovered, and I, it's funny that you asked that because we're about to get... Ooh. Another oh oh problems. The hotel yeah, is under attack. That's a problem. Everyone is in danger. Head to the hotel and hurry. Okay. Through ergo, an interesting parlor trick. Quite the performance, puppet of Jupiter. Hmm. But your lies will be useless in the new world. What could it be? Come on, pal. No time to lose. Yeah, I think we just lost our ability to fast travel, by the way. Sounds like it. Yeah. Figured when um, you said that there would be some catastrophic thing that's beginning, so. Yeah. Oh. This music is putting me on edge. Uh huh. Um. Anyway, what I don't fully understand is the relationship between Ergo and the petrification disease. Yeah, I think we need more about that. Yeah, because, like, what's been said is Ergo is the purest form of humanity. This and is it, though? <laughs> well, right, I mean, that is the question, like, is it really? But that's what it's being explained as. Right. And um, additionally, there's your Stargazer. Additionally, it is created from those who have been petrified. Right. So, I guess the this is the question I've had from the beginning. And I'm not sure why. Ah, oh, this was a bust, pal. Let's get back to the hotel, quickly. You know, walking works. Let's walk. <laughs> cool. Oh, we can oh, it gives you a chance to level up here. Level That's up. interesting. Fascinating, okay. Um, I just... Is it purely the petrification disease that creates the ergo? Yeah. Because I can't reconcile that with how much ergo they had to use, along with the petrification disease being the epidemic that it seems to be. Like, I just... I'm having a hard time combining those two in a society like this. Because the entire yeah. city is like racked with petrification disease. And then you have the puppet uprising as well. But the puppets were all created using Ergo. Mm -hmm. And it's not like it's a handful of puppets. We're talking like a legion of puppets. Yeah. So, like, there had to be a pool or a source of Ergo. Oh no. Hey, uh, so there's something horrible in front of the hotel. Be worse than what we saw at the cathedral. Wow, All that's right, saying something. Up your and let's go. Okay. You recognize this uh, little pathway here? Yeah. So if we go that way, we're going to get to the hotel. There was another way to go, which I assume is a dead end. Let's go look. Yeah, check the side area, actually. There should be a phone floating around somewhere. A floating phone? Well, I mean, not literally floating, <laughs> but... It actually might be the phone we saw at the beginning of the game. I don't know if you remember. There was like a side area on the way to the boss of the first the first area. Oh. Yeah. Where there was a phone. Yeah. Right out here. Okay. But there it is. Okay. 
because remember you came through that gate before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the king thinks this riddle might be quite a poser. It's all about seeing past the tip of your nose, sir. <laughs> observation. It's about observation. Just listen, kid. This one should be easy. You've seen enough of it. If your answer is wrong now, you're not going to love it. This blue flower has many ways to take root, but... Only on man does it ever bear fruit. Hmm. It's ergo. Ergo. That's what yeah. I should answer? Yeah. Okay. Yes. We can't do anything with just yet. Right, because but, uh, fast travel is disabled. Right. But once we get that cleared up, we should be able to get our... Look at that. What a mess. I, I don't know if it's the last Trinity key. I'm, I'm inclined to think that it is because Trinity being three, mm. we've already opened two doors. There were three seats in each of the areas. Um, so... I'm inclined to think that maybe the King of Riddles is perhaps one of the three. Seems like it. Uh, but yeah, calling it a blue flower, it makes it really interesting. Because again, he says it's a metaphor, but like... Perhaps Ergo represented itself as a plant substance of some kind. And we saw writing about the blue flower in the area that had the black cat attire. Ooh. That's true. Yeah. So I'm I'm curious if I don't know, maybe maybe it is as he said, just a metaphor to, to hide the mm, perhaps the, ho the horror that it is. Man, it is wild to see the same pathway. Like we came down here. Mm-hmm. I remember. Probably probably not even five episodes ago. To grab like treasure from that exact spot. Yeah. Yeah, now it's all messed up. Uh-huh. These uh blue things jutting out of the ground sort of remind me of some of the messed up areas in Code Vein. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's the fact that they're glowing blue makes me assume that these are kind of like ergo ore of sorts. Mm, yeah, I could see it. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a very interesting energy source to say the least. All right, so this brings us back here, I guess. Yeah. And that was a side pass. So we got to go up that way. All right. Yep. Recharge my. Do, 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 do. Creepy music. Man, that got messed up. Sure did. <laughs> you know, hmm? I appreciate the artistic flavor that the heartbeat is adding to the music. Yep. But I also am hating it a lot right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh... 
I, I can understand that. It's definitely putting me on edge a little bit, but it is right. pretty cool. Which, I mean, that's what it's supposed to do. It's doing its job. Oh. I, Hello. He looks a lot different than the last time we fought him. I don't know if I'm going to need it. Let's, let's check it out. Uh, yeah, I would. Corrupted Parade Master. A little bit of champion Gundir type stuff going on. Yeah, so this is what I this is like a true mixture of puppet and carcass. So like how does that happen? I have no idea. Yeah, I mean obviously you don't. I'm this are these are just the questions that like I'm observing and I'm seeing and having to ask the question, like what is happening here? You're asking about his attack pattern? Because I have no idea about that either. Uh, no, I wasn't. <laughs> He's just like thrashing around for no apparent reason. Yeah, well, I mean, he's even more mindless than he was before. That was cool. That was cool. Come on. Cool. Does that? Oh. Oh, this boss didn't have a minions. No. Um, well, he... The K. Spectre. There was no Spectre pool. Or was there and we just missed it? Hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I, like, clipped into the model. That was weird. Yeah. Yeah, that's good stuff right there. Proving once again that sometimes what you need is a big sword. Oh, good job. Wow, that does so much damage. Uh, uh -oh. oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. That could have been worse. Yeah. If that had been Dark Souls, that would have been a, a death defining throw. <laughs> yep. There we go. Full health would not have mattered. That would have killed you instantly. Yeah, yeah. And it also would have taken 25 freaking minutes. Yeah, full yeah. moonstone. Cool. Okay, so... Oh, man. That's a lot to take in. Because puppets are made with ergo, can they... be... Could corrupted or changed? It seems to like... To have this organic features in it? Yeah. Or... Is it more like the swamp monster, whatever that thing is, oh, yeah. swamp monster. In What's infesting now? the, Let's get back to the hotel. puppet and carcass? Our friends. And our friends. Yeah, I don't know. Definitely seems like they're linked more than they're not. Right. I wonder if there will be a reveal like humans and puppets are the same thing. You know, I mean, it, they've all but said that, but... Yeah, I mean, to some degree, right? Because they've said this is why puppets awaken. Mm -hmm. is because the ergo is the... I, the collective unconscious of humanity is kind of the gist... Basically. ...that they've created yeah. here. Yeah, basically. It's, <laughs> ergo is the live stream. <laughs> like, it's... The live stream, yeah. Um... But specifically, it's of just the humans, not the entire planet, you know. Um, the planet! So, which is why we have these puppets developing sentience. Like Paladina. Place doesn't look um, very under attack. Uh, uh, well, I guess they're all inside. Not, not anymore. I mean, look at all the dead puppets around here. Yeah, there are a lot of dead puppets. Okay, I don't think there's anything outside the hotel. Let's go ahead and go in. Yep. I'm going to assume the uh, the big boss was the big problem. Probably. Hmm.
Ooh. Wow. Hypocrite. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, what do we got going here? Hey. If they turned the table we couldn't can't undo now. Yeah. You're alive. I was worried because I didn't hear from you. The stalkers have kidnapped Geppetto. Mm-hmm. It was the fox, the cat, and the black rabbit brotherhood. Okay. But really? I sense Simon is behind this. Yeah. First, go to the second floor and make sure everyone is okay. I'll try to figure out where they ran off to. Antonia might know a secret passage. Try asking her. A secret passage, okay? First, okay, so... Antonia might know... Okay. That... Okay, so that proves the black cat's still alive then, and the set that we have here literally was the one that was stolen. I, it said it was an extra set. I wasn't sure yeah, okay. how to interpret that. So it seems like it's a set the black cat had that was stolen. Right. Okay. Man, this place looks awful. Yeah, it's kind of trashed. The piano's okay, uh, I guess. Can you invest? So you can investigate the piano. Can you? Yeah. You can play the piano. <laughs> oh, nice. Interesting. Nothing down here. All right. I'll go upstairs. Yeah, like everybody's upstairs now. Been like a creepy segment for sure. Yeah. Anything through here? Let's see. Just just your gold coin tree. Yeah, alright. Let's go check on everybody up here. They're probably all in Geppetto's room if I had to guess. Yep, that would stand to reason. The kitty better be okay. That's all I'm saying. That's right. I don't see the kitty yet. Oh, it's barricaded. Or no, there's like oh, an no. X carved into the... Alright, let's look on this side real quick. Yeah. Mm. That, oh, was that door open before? I don't think so. I don't know where this goes. Okay. Yeah, this seems new. Okay. We'll check on that later. That might be the next way to go. Yeah, or it's where everybody is. I don't know. It depends on if Geppetto's room is blocked off or not. Who, who's there? I'll never okay. open this door. You might as well give up. Eugenie. Oh, it's you. Is it safe out there? Um, kind of. Sec. Sort okay. of? Come in. It's safe adjacent. Enough. It's safe enough. Close enough. I'm sorry, child. Geppetto has been kidnapped. Wow, they moved all that stuff real fast. You sure did. You're here. That's a relief. Being trapped somewhere. It's the worst. Mm -hmm. It's good to be free. Oh, sorry. I should be thanking you first. When you came in, you reminded me of the hound. Probably because both of you saved my life. Thank you so much. Doggle. Yeah, I still don't know how to think about Aladoro. Yeah. You are here. That's a release. It's good to me. Came in. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Well, I never imagined the stalkers would dare attack the hotel. What's going on? The fact that the stalkers attacked is interesting. Imagined. Yeah. You have my personal thanks for saving Master Vanini, sir. Do look after him, won't you, sir? Sure. You have to look I'm, after him. I'm sure we've covered this before, but... Rescue, companion. I, I kind of love... I find myself once again in your debt. I talk a big game, but when push comes to shove, I freeze. It'd be funny if it weren't so pathetic. Surely there must be something that only I, in all my genius, can contribute. <laughs> but if there is not, then Vedigny is here to help you in any way he can. Fear not. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say, 
we pointed out this before, but I, I kind of love the fact that uh, Puccinella has the same outfit, basically, as Vanini does. Mm -hmm. It's close, yeah. Thank you, it's the red Surely... pinstripe coat. Yeah. It was a planned ambush. I'm afraid there's nothing we could have done about it. More than anything, I'm concerned about how it shocked Lady Antonia. All this mayhem is certainly going to affect her condition. Perhaps. It was more than anything. What you got for me? I'm sorry, child. Geppetto has been kidnapped. The alchemists planned the whole thing. All while we were hiding here. I certainly didn't expect an attack on the hotel. The possibility never crossed my mind. However, I think we can track them down. My portrait. Behind it lies a passageway to their base. The hotel had an accommodation with the alchemists. <laughs> long ago hmm. play this chord on the piano in my room it'll open the secret passageway and you can save Geppetto nice anger, anger. okay mm. apparently I must remain in this room I hope Geppetto is safe w why? <laughs> be careful out there won't you the hotel will Always welcome you back. Well, I'm about to open a passage in her room, Apparently, so it wouldn't be exactly Kefla. safe for her to stay there. Okay. If I had to guess. Yeah. Okay, so we should be able to fast travel now as well. Right. I really wish we had two cords. I'd love to see that extra arm. Yeah, me too. Quick charges consume legion, stamina consumption, fable, and a perfect guard. I like that one. Let me get that one. Yep, one more quartz. We'll check the shops and see if any others have popped up since the attack. Yeah, I think the inventory has only expanded when you've been able to give them stuff. It was a planned ambush more than anything. No matter what, serving her. Welcome. Hmm. Nothing there other than those. It's half moonstone. Yep. Right. Thank Strange. You. It feels like a portion of my memory has been cut away from me. Hmm. It hurts so much. It's not like a real wound, but still. Strange. That's interesting. Yes, it is. Uh, hmm. You have my purse to look after him at the house of a. You are here. It's good to. When you came in, Ali Doro. Right. What if he disappeared while fighting those stalkers? Oh yeah. Worst case scenario. Ali is yeah, I was, here. I was, I was wondering where he I went. Shudder to think. There's already too much death in this city. I just want safety for everyone at the hotel, at least. Kind of feel That's like he probably went off with the stalkers. Well if you need anything, just ask. I was going to say, I'm thinking uh, you are here. he opportunistically made his escape a little bit there. Yeah, that's probably true. Okay. Let's do... Let's go back to that. Yep. And... <clears throat> we, should, uh, we should go up and explore that other room. That we didn't open before. Okay. I just I'm just curious. It's the other direction. If you don't want to run the whole way around. Okay, so up here. Yeah, I just don't room. remember us going through this doorway before. Maybe we did. Uh, the more I look at it, the more I think probably we did. But let's look. It's an exit. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh. I think this goes to Yeah, this is um Rose Isabel's show. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well you can just take that stargazer. Well we can go take care of our Trinity Sanctum and then we'll move on to the next the next Star Destroyer. 
Uh, so take the Krat Central Station Lobby. <clears throat> okay. Oh, that has a thing. It does. Interesting. So we're going here? Krat Central Station Lobby, yep. And I want to say the Trinity Sanctum is fairly close. Should be pretty obvious. It was like the most obvious Trinity door we came across. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, right down there, I think, actually. Yeah, alright. Yep. Remember the metal angel, we are simply on a journey that follows his full footsteps. Mm. What's this? Song of the day, the pickpocket who was overconfident and the gamble at his heart stolen and died. Mm. Huh. Okay, that's a reflection. Okay. Interesting. Workshop master's workwear. Is that? Looks like Geppetto's outfit, actually. Yeah, okay. It's just a better version of the carrier's amulet. Sure. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. Oh, quick weight. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. Let's we'll stick with this. Workwear of the Workshop Union. Yeah. Don't buy their hands. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Betos. I like this this coat. This coat's cool. Yeah. I, I'm I'm more of a fan of the long coats myself. Yep. Now what? Okay. Uh now now we officially begin working in chapter ten. Okay. Do we need to deal with this? Uh or whatever, I guess Hotel Krat. Oh yeah, Hotel Krat, we need to open up the... But I don't know what that is at the Baron Swamp at all. Okay, so we uh, we talked to Sophia, we talked to Eugenie, we talked to Belle, we talked to Puccinea, we talked to Vanini, we talked to uh, Palandina, we talked to Antonia, we got angry. <laughs> Have we talked... We haven't talked to Giangio yet. Uh, yeah. That's Hotel Krat, I think. Yeah, it's still Hotel Krat. So it would be worth talking to at least... Giangio, Vanini at least one more time, because okay. it says times two here, but I think he talked to everybody at least once. Okay. So talking to them at least one more time, to Eugenie, to Vanini, and to Sophia. Okay. But exhaust their dialogue, I guess, basically. Okay. And then we will head to the Baron Swamp. Okay. Where we will, if you remember the broken puppet, yeah, we can teach him about anger. Now that we have the anger emote. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. Yep. That explains everything. <laughs> Soon, you will see the Isle of Alchemists. But be warned. You're walking into hell. And I should know. Hmm. The truth is... I escaped from there. I had to leave a lot behind. That is why I woke you. Like you, clever one. I am more than I appear to be. I'm ready for you to see the real me. Show me that you're ready to. Please. Save us. Is she save actually God. a blue fairy? I don't know. I knew it. There is a secret passage. The stalkers must be getting information from the alchemists. It might be the only path to their base. Hurry. Whatever choice you make. Okay. At the house of Vanini, even priceless. Okay. Thank you for another timely rescue, compagno. <clears throat> I seem to find myself once again in your debt. Oh, his model I city is all. Big game, yeah. But when push up comes now. to shove, I freeze. Surely there must be something. That... Ah, looks like you've dealt with the puppets menacing the hotel steps in your typically dashing style. 
that should give us more than enough readings to analyze. The King of Puppets used carefully measured ergo wavelengths to control other puppets. But that's just the means to an end. We still don't know if the frenzy arose by the King of Puppets, or if someone else is pulling the strings. No pun intended. <laughs> I must find a way puns, to prevent be a puppets from hurting any more humans. The tragedy of Arlecchino must remain a one-time performance. His records are like a puzzle wrapped in riddles. But I always did love puzzles. The light shines brightest in the darkest times, and you will be the first light. I am counting on you. Mm. Sure. I always welcome. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. With Aladoro being questionable as he is. Right. And the. Kind of the confusion over the wanted poster and everything else. And I don't know. Like he's. I don't trust him <laughs> as far as we could throw him. Probably shouldn't trust him. Yeah. Right, so I all that to say is I wouldn't be surprised if he's the reason the stalkers had cracked, cracked. Not that mm -hmm. they were looking for him, but rather that he betrayed the, the Temp hotel. Tipped them off, whatever, yeah. Right, because we were very secretive about the hotel, right? Mm -hmm. Even with him, he kind of found it on his own to some degree. Right. So... We tried to direct him elsewhere, and he got angry. Right. So I, th I think that's going to have to come to a head at some point. Probably. Hello, my only friend. Ref. What did you come to tell me? Each about anger. Huh. Being angry for someone else's sake. I think it's brave. I hope I find someone I can be brave for. Thank you so much. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's all we can do for now. I'm assuming there will be other emotes we can teach him as we go further along, but... Eh. Eh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we go back to the hotel and actually play the right. piano. Yep. So we'll investigate the piano. We'll choose to play a certain scale. And then there will be a lift that we can ride down to the next stargazer. Okay. And I think at that point, it will right. probably be a time. Probably. Let's see. Play a certain scale. Oh, I didn't even see your picture. Look at that. Yeah, it got all messed up. It's got like horns and they changed her face. Yeah, they defaced her picture. Wow. Hmm. Eh. Okay, so... Elevator. Here we go. I guess it's not surprising that the Black Rabbit Brotherhood is involved too, considering how we uh, mopped the floor with them last time. Yeah, indeed. They got a little angry about that. Mm -hmm. Relic of Trismegistus. Cool. Moonstone of the Covenant. Yep. Seen all the crazy blue jutting stuff everywhere once again. Place is yep. interesting looking. And very tall. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so... Hmm. We do have a couple of minutes, um, but I don't know that starting this area is a good idea with a couple of minutes, because it looks kind of uh, it'll be a minute before we get anywhere, I think. So I think we may save this one for next time. 
Yeah, I, I think that is probably wise. Just kind of glancing ahead, we got some big stuff happening. Mm-hmm. This does look like to be a shorter chapter, so it probably won't take us as long to get through it. Okay. Um, we'll probably be able to knock it all out in one episode, assuming we don't get like horribly stuck on something. <laughs> I never get stuck on anything. I know. <laughs> Uh, but that being said, we are fastly approaching end game. Yeah, I mean we're we're practically there. Like there's this, and then the final confrontation with Simon, mm -hmm. and that's pretty much it. Is that from in, what I'm seeing here is that in chapter eleven. Yeah. So okay. once we are able to take care of this problem here with the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. Mm -hmm. um, and return back to the hotel crot. That will be the end of chapter ten. Okay. So this is really just like a a brief sidetrack. Will they clean up the hotel? No, they'll probably stay like that the rest of the night. I imagine so too. There's so much so, yeah. stuff everywhere now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, we made it through all of the shenanigans. Uh, this episode and uh, yeah through to the end of the chapter um, through very creepy music <laughs> yeah um, make our way back to the hotel and rescue everyone but we do have to find Geppetto so that'll be our goal next time we're going after Geppetto who's been kidnapped yep 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 and I suspect or at least I would be surprised if the stalkers are working with Simon. We won't find Geppetto at the uh, Brotherhood. Yeah. Yeah. He That's probably going to be a uh, final battle with Simon. Oh, look, Geppetto's there as a hostage kind of situation. Could be. I could see it. Yeah. But we shall see. We don't know. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. If you have beaten this game, please no spoilers. But otherwise, uh, it's... At this, especially this late in the game, it's pretty open for discussion for just about anything. Mm -hmm. So, we would love to hear your feedback on what you think is going on. Are there things that we've missed so far, like details that uh, we could have received by now that we have not, or we overlooked? Anything like that that might add some clarity? You're more than welcome to share those. But of course, again, try not to spoil anything future casting. Uh, and if you do like what you've been watching, which we are very grateful that you're here with us today, then please like, subscribe, share with a friend, all that stuff, because it really helps us out along the way, because mm -hmm. we want to continue to create content for your consumption. It's fun for us. I know it's fun for you, um, but we can only keep doing it if we get support. So, uh, you know, continue to help us with that growth. Yes, really please. appreciate it. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, if you don't want to wait till the next episode, because these are airing on Fridays, you can check out our other series that we've completed. We finished Wind Waker before this one, and we've got our ongoing Persona 3 uh, reload game, and we've got our Tea Time Tuesdays, and like a slew of other games that we've completed and played through that are all great. Super chill, for the most part. Some with really intense narratives, like Xenogears. Mm -hmm. Um but all worth watching, especially if you like the discussion of what's happening in the world and hearing our perspectives versus your perspective and that kind of stuff, because it's something that we try to incorporate as much as we can when we think about it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Yeah, check all that out. Um, yeah, and I'm, any thoughts? I'm really hoping for some more answers about what we've discussed in this episode as we continue. Um, as we're getting to end game, I assume... There is at least one more big reveal uh, in this game, so that should be very interesting to see. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this narrative ends. It's been a wonderful game, and I'm really glad that we were we put it on our docket, to say the least. Yep. Agreed. Um, but more than anything else, thank you so much for letting us be a part of your day and for being here and watching this video with us, and we hope that your day is a wonderful one. And we will catch you all in the next video. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye now. Diddly diddly do 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 do. Thanks for watching.